Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. And today's video is about what I am wearing underneath my mask. <laughs> So um, that's what I'm going to cover today in this video. So if you are interested in finding out what I'm wearing under my mask, then just keep on watching. So lipstick sales are down and eyeshadow sales are soaring. So what that means is that eyeshadow is the new lipstick. Um, I've pretty much been wearing lip masks and lip balms every single day. To be honest, it's so refreshing to not having to pick out a lipstick uh, to go with my outfit. So the first thing I have here, this is a lip balm. I received this in my lip monthly bag a while back, but this is the Portland Bee Balm. And uh, I actually like this because it's very minty. There's not much left on this, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, that's what's left if you can see it, but this is so minty and it does not leave a stain on your mask. And this also supports uh, urban bees and their keepers. So, you know, you're actually supporting a good cause if you purchase this um, lip balm. So it's called Portland Bee Balm. Next up, what I've also been wearing is Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean Lip Balm. This is my favorite from Burt's Bees. And this one is also clear. And Burt's Bees is the same thing. This one is like pretty much out though. <laughs> There's nothing there. This is actually a favorite of many. So this can be found at your local drugstore. Pretty easy to find uh, everywhere. Next up, I have good old-fashioned Vaseline. You either hate it or you love it, and I happen to love it. I have them in different flavors. These are so handy. They're so cute. They literally fit everywhere. Yeah, I use this quite a bit as well. So, uh, Vaseline Rosy Lips Lip Therapy. This is another one of my favorite. Next up, I have the Peach Lip Balm from Too Faced. I reviewed this, I don't remember how long ago. This smells so good and it's also very clear. It doesn't really, it doesn't have any color whatsoever to it. But if you do wear a white mask, it will show up on that mask. It literally feels like there's nothing on my lips, but at the same time, my lips feel very moisturized. Next up, I have Pixie by Petra uh, Lip Butter or Shea Butter Lip Balm. It also leaves some color. Uh, this is a great way to just add a little bit of color uh, to your lips. And Almost Lipstick by Clinique. I love these so much. This one is completely out. That's so sad. And this is my favorite shade. I also wear this one a lot. Um, there's not a lot left either on this one, as you can tell. Listen guys, there's really not a lot we can do right now. So we just have to make do with what we have. And you know, the silver lining with all this happening is that my lips have recovered so much. They used to be really dry because of course, I do a lot of lipstick swatch videos and I wear a lot of matte lipsticks and over time it just really dries out my lips. But there's only so much I can do. So I am just enjoying this time right now. Um, which is weird to say, but like I said, the silver lining of all this happening um, is my lips living their best lives right now and thanking me for it. But back to uh, the lip products, those are what I actually use on a regular basis with everything going on. So let me know what you guys think of these products that I am currently using right now. And also, um, drop some recommendations of what you're using and what you find best to work for you. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.